Assalamualaikum students. I hope you all are fine and in good health. Welcome back to today's English class. Now today we are going to test, or I can, I should say, I'm going to test your understanding for unit seven. Now, as I said, you are not going to get any PDF for this, so. Here only in this today's video, we'll go through the question answers of both Topsy Turvy Land and Gulliver's Travels to see what you have, whether you have understood or not. So first, let us see Topsy Turvy Land. Okay, what have we studied in Topsy Turvy Land? Yes, from the picture. You you may you know recall what you have uh, learned from the poem that in topsy turvy land everything is upside down upside down in the sense everything is opposite of what happens in the real world whether it may be walking whether it may be going to school whether it may be the vehicle in which they go to school day or night everything is opposite in topsy turvy land okay. So let us see the summary. Topsy Turvy Land is a poem written by H. E. Wilkinson. It is okay now. Who has written the poem? Yes, H. E. Wilkinson. You can see at the bottom of the poem where it finishes. It is a very interesting poem that takes us to the land where everything is upside down. Yes. Now I have asked a question. Where is Topsy Turvy Land? Nobody has answered me that yet. Hmm. So where. This he talked about a land which is upside down. It tells us about a strange land where nothing is normal. See, it's upside down means everything is different. Everything is opposite. Nothing is normal. In fact, the normal that we live in, everything is the opposite of that in this land. So normal, the way we live normally, everything is opposite of it. Whether it may be walking, coming, going, right? Do you remember? It has many amusing things. For instance, the sea does not contain water and instead it is full of sand. So there are many amazing things over here in this land. What are the amazing things? First is the sea. It is not made of water. It is made of sand. Similarly, there are many other strange things going on in this land, which is which the poem mentions. Okay, now there are many other strange things which happens in the poem, like how the children do not go to school during the day, rather they go to school at night. Further, the houses have a front door step at the back. Okay, which is the most amusing thing um, is that in this land, people walk on their hands instead of their feet. It is an entertaining poem with hilarious scenario to think about. So yes, we have learned that students go to school at night, not in the morning. Their front door is at the back. Okay, if they're standing, they're going. Okay, and then what are the things? Yes, they walk on their ha ha head. They wear their hats on their feet, right? So there are so many entertaining things in this poem. Okay, now let us see the question answers. So first one, when do children go to school in Topsy Turvy Land? When do children go to school? Yes, children go to school at night in Topsy Turvy Land. In the poem, if buses travel on the sea, then where do the boats travel? Okay, if buses are traveling on the sea, see the picture. The buses travel on uh, the boats travel on the road. Yes, how should it rightly be? So, what is the right way of you no know, traveling? Where should the bus be traveling on? Yes, birds should be traveling on roads and boats should be traveling on the sea. The topsy-turvy land is very different from our land. Let's draw a comparison by filling in sentences wherever needed. Pe okay, now you have to make a difference between topsy-turvy land and our land. Okay, so here a point is written, the opposite point will be in our land. If our land point is written, the opposite will be in topsy-turvy land. People walk on their heads. In Topsy Turvy Land. So, in our land, how do people walk? People walk on their feet. We walk on our feet. Now, second point. The buses run on the land. Okay, how many buses are on the land? Pe. Unki buses chalti hai? The buses run on the sea. Just now we saw, right? They wear their hats on feet. 
अच्छा इन टॉपसी टर्वी लैंड वो हैट्स कहाँ पहनते हैं अपने फीट पे हम कहाँ अपने हैट्स पहनते हैं वी वेयर हैट्स ऑन अवर हेड नेक्स्ट बोट सेल इन द सी अब हमारी बोट्स कहाँ चलती है सी पे चलती है लेकिन टॉपसी टर्वी में बोट्स कहाँ चलती है येस बोट सेल ऑन रोड और ऑन सैंड पीपल पे फॉर वॉट दे डोंट गेट ओके इन टॉपसी टर्वी लैंड वो पैसे इसके देते हैं जो चीज़ उन्हें नहीं मिलती और हमारे लैंड में पैसे कहाँ देते हैं हम लोग जो चीज़ हम खरीदते हैं सो पीपल पे फॉर वॉट दे गेट सो दीज आर सम डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन टॉपसी टर्वी लैंड एंड अवर लैंड आई होप विद दिस यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द पोम वेरी वेल ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव टूवर्ड्स दी अनदर चैप्टर दैट वी स्टडीड इन यूनिट सेवन दैट इज गलीवर्स ट्रैवल राइट नाउ इन दिस चैप्टर वी स्टडीड अबाउट सम जैंस ओके एंड हाउ दे वर नो सो टॉल हाउ डिड गलीवर दे फाइंड गलीवर एंड वॉट हैपन वेन गलीवर वेंट होम एंड देन लास्ट ही स्लेप्ट पीसफुली ओके सो लेट सी द समरी दिस स्टोरी हैज बीन टेकन फ्रॉम द वेरी फेमस गलीवर्स ट्रैवल्स In total, Gulliver goes on four different voyages. Voyages means his travels. This extract is about the second voyage he takes when he meets the gigantic humanoid Brobding 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 Nigerians. Yes, you can call them gigantics, giant people. Okay, how do you pronounce this? Gigantic humanoid. Brobding Nigerians. Okay, now so this is about his second, you no know, travel. Okay, where he found people who looked very giant. People who looked very giant. It means very huge in size, very tall. Okay, these people exhibit Gulliver as a sideshow attraction. Okay, thus. Contrary to the popular voyage to Lilliput, this will make us understand his second voyage. So this was mainly about his second voyage and what happened in the second travel. Let us see. It is also known as an interesting one where the land of Bobbin Bobbing Nang offers him surprises. This land contains people who are incredibly huge. When Gulliver meets the inhabitants, he thinks that they are all monsters. Moreover, there are around, there there are around seven other monsters that discover him. They talk amongst them to decide what to do with him. Gulliver is seen by a famous farmer who thinks Gulliver is a little animal. The farmer takes Gulliver home where he encounters different things. However, this huge creatures are surprisingly kind to him. so yes we have seen about this huge creatures okay uh, they were you no know, finding for water on the land and how one giant you no know, giant person he ran after the colleagues of uh, this uh, galiver so what happened then everybody ran away galiver was still left on the land right and when he was trying to save himself hide from the farmers one of the farmers saw him as they were reaping the crops okay then seven other giants were there they sat over there they were not able to understand what gulliver is trying to say isn't it that we just completed the chapter yesterday right so one farmer took gulliver at home okay he kept him on the dining table now farmer's wife was very kind she was very good to him right so what she did she took gully she gave galiver some crumbles of crumbs of bread okay but a baby came over there baby was also as huge as the giants right and he tried to eat galiver but the lady the farmer's wife she saved galiver right and then she kept him on her bed she you know covered him with the handkerchief and then galiver slept right so this was the second travel of Gulliver, where he mentions about how he met the farmers that were very giant. Okay, let us see the exercise now. Why did the captain send the men on the land? Okay, why did the captain send the men on the land? Yes, the captain sent the man on the land to look for water, isn't it? They all came down to look for water. Okay, so students, the first answer is the captain sent the man on the land to look for water. Why did the men rush back to the ship? Now, why were the men running after the ship? 
दे वेंट ऑन द लैंड टू लुक फॉर वाटर फिर वो भाग क्यों रहे थे शिप के पीछे डू रिमेंबर वट आई एक्सप्लेन येस Why? Because there was a giant who was chasing the men. Okay, um, they all were chased by a giant. So that is why the men were rushing back to the ship. Next, choose the correct answer. The giant carried a reaping hook. Because now, why was the giant carrying this hook? Remember, I explained. Yes, because he was going to reap the corn. They put Gulliver on the ground to look at him because now why did they all put Gulliver on the land? They had never seen human before. They thought he was a doll. They had never seen such a tiny man. So which is the correct answer? They have never seen a tiny man. They all also were human, right? वो animals तो नहीं थे ना giants. They all also were humans. Okay, but they didn't see tiny man like Gulliver. So that is why they put him on the ground. Now, last Gulliver was now who was Gulliver? He was a farmer, sailor, dwarf, or giant. Yes, Gulliver was a sailor. He was sailor. He was sailing in the boats on the seas, right? Now, name the creature to whom you would like look like Gulliver. The creature is now extinct. Now, you have to find a name of the creature who looks like Gulliver. Now, Gulliver is also human only, but for the giants, what was Gulliver? Yes, he was a dwarf. Now the very short people. Now we call them dwarf. What do we call very short people? We call them dwarf. Okay. So if you want to mark these answers in your textbook, you can see the video and you can mark in your textbooks. Okay. So now I hope I hope the chapter was easy for you to understand and you are now you are clear what was there in unit seven. Okay. So here we end with our chapter. the next class will we may continue with a grammar or a writing section part okay so see you soon with the next video